hello guys welcome back to my channel once again so today we are going to uh, see or today we are going to do something new and exciting uh, and this is really helpful when we you will be doing any kind of extraction ladder like image capture or extraction from image or anything from PDF so in this session I will only tell you like how we can extract the data from uh, like PDF and and how we can do the PDF integration operations, how we can pass the variable and how we can use the loop condition in order to fetch more number of like the PDF part. So you can see this is my automation anywhere screen. So let me show you before that, let me show you the test sample for today. This is the utility build test sample. You can see there are so many utility builds are there. Yes, these are my PDF. You can see it has customer name, build prior. This sample you will get in automation anywhere. Uh, you can download it from there. You, you will have account number, bill printing date, Monday to Friday, timings, even everything, water supply, charges and everything. So I will just extract few things and I will just let you know how we can do the PDF operation. So let me keep this for my reference. Let's give a comment here. Let's do the PDF extraction first, then we'll see the letter operation. So before that, as I can I can show you this is my PDF. So what I will do here again, let me pass my variable first. Why I'm passing my variable? Because uh, this data will fetch and it will be always defining the variable. This is the dynamic way in order to do all the kind of operations so let me take examples name no i will take bill period so my variable will be bill period i will leave it blank because i'm not going to do any kind of hard coding let me take account number and we'll take bill number I have already passed my variable now what I will going to do is like PDF operation you can see this is my PDF integration there are so many features are available like PDF to image that I will show you in my next class extract text merge document split document encrypt and decrypt this encrypt and decrypt is generally yeah you can say we don't use much but like pdf from fields extract text pdf to image is been used regularly and you will be using regularly in your day-to-day -day end process and definitely in every process you will get the same kind of scenarios so I will take extract the field this is the PDF extraction field and it has so many commands like PDF to image extract text split as I have told you here I need to give you the PDF path I will click here where is my sample data is my utility bill let me click this one let me take only the one PDF file. Later we'll do the loop. When we will use the loop, we need to dynamic this part so that it will fetch every PDF. It may be 100, it may be 1000, it will fetch automatically. We don't have any user password or owner. 
now we need to add as soon as you click the add you can see there is the pdf has been captured by the screen now you have to capture the field what do you want to extract so my first thing is build period i will capture build period I will, you will have to right click add field see the value is mentioned here so it will capture every time from here until the place doesn't change you all should always remember when you are extracting the PDF the data should always be fixed if the data is mismatched like one PDF is different second PDF is different format it's very difficult means it's next to impossible that we are going to fetch this data it should always be in a proper format Field name will be build period. I need to select my variable which I have passed. My build period is here. Okay. Next, I will go to the account number. Add field. Yeah, my account number has been captured. Uh, I will pass account number. Now I will go bill number. Oh, you can see this is the error because it has been captured incorrectly. So now what we need to do, we need to capture again. You should do carefully when you are doing. Did I show? Let me make it for you. Yeah, this is better. this work yeah now it is correct it's bill number my variable will be bill number you can see I have collated all the data from the PDF what I need to paste now I need to save it save it yeah you can see we have done the operation now I want to check this value like how it's getting pasted and how it's getting work I need to take a message box here now we need to pass accordingly first is my bill period in bill period my variable will be bill period this is just I am showing you how we are extracting the data I started the three data. I'm not closing this thing anything. I save this one PDF extraction. Save it. Now we'll try to run it and we'll see the result. See the data has been collected like bill period, account number and bill number. You click OK because as we have one data, it will only give you one data. If I run it again, you will receive the same thing. Now my question is like how we can fetch this number of PDF because every PDF, the format is same but the data is different. 
how we can fetch this number of PDF. Now what we need to do, we need to add loop command. Loop command as I have already told you that loop helps in order to extract multiple uh, data or multiples anything in Excel like um, multiple columns or row where you are fetching the data. So loop we will use, let me take loop. For loop, I need to take it. You can see there are so many commands, but which command I need is each file in a folder. Let me put it loop over here. Each file in a folder, it means whatever the file is present in the folder, loop is gonna take those files. <coughs> Sorry. I will give the folder path. Desktop, utility bill, okay. I will save it. Make it end here. Now we need to make it dynamic because this is only taking one data. So how we need to make it dynamic is we need to remove till here and we need to add file name dollar we need to add dollar file name dollar it represent the file name in the folder so this is the universal and it will automatically take it this one so I can get to it yeah I have already given no ID password and uh, this data I am extracting as of now see this is dynamic way now I have to run I will close my all folders we need to run it one two three four five five we have five data and you can see how this extraction had been done so this is how we can extract the pdf file and in my next class please don't forget to watch my next class in my next class i will be talking about how we can do this pdf operation and we can place this value into excel thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and Please do watch my complete session. Thank you.